So the first thing that we do, we separate. Data can live on its own and code can live on its own, like in functional programming. So the first step of data engineering is exactly the same as functional programming. The second step is that instead of using a specific structure to represent our data, we prefer to use generic data structures, like hash maps, like we have in Ruby and in JavaScript, or dictionaries in Python. That's the, the, our main ingredient for representing data that we have fetched from the database. And that's where there is a little split versus standard functional programming languages like Haskell and all the ML families, where there you use uh, strongly typed uh, things to model your, uh, your data. Here we prefer to use generic data structures, mainly uh, hash maps and lists. And the number three, which is similar to functional programming, is that we never mutate data. We use immutable data structures. And there are very, very advanced, or very performant, sorry, immutable data structures for generic data structures. So we have, in all languages, we have super efficient immutable hash maps, where instead of modifying the data in place, you create kind of a new version of the data but without having to clone the original data. We can talk about that uh, later if, if you are interested. Mm -hmm. That was principle number three. And principle number four is, okay, if you don't have types for your data, how do you prevent, how do you avoid the big mess that you will be into? If all the, the pieces of data that you're manipulating your program are hash maps, how do you know if in the hash maps, you expect a field that is called email and user and ID, and how do you know how to spell it? How do you know as a programmer, and how does the program know to fail fast and not pass forward invalid data? And that's <clears throat> the way we do uh, data validation in uh, data-oriented programming is by having the schema, the data schema separated from the data itself. Data is vali validated at runtime, not at compile time.